On this episode, we're going to put E85 in the BRZ. So with the E85 tune, you want to make sure uh, you run the car down completely till the fuel light's on. Um, and then you're supposed to fill it completely at like a station, but we're just going to put about five gallons in it and then drive it to a station. So once you have the gas filled either at a station or with a can like we did, you want to head over to the diagnostic section on your open flash tablet and then head over to my car and then the real time data display, which will be the first option. And then from there, you're going to see the ST fuel trim and the LT fuel trim. You want to ride around for a little bit with the normal tune until you see a rise in both the ST fuel trim and the LT fuel trim and then they begin to stay high, higher than what you would see normally. And the reason why we wanna actually see that happen for that change is then we'll know that there's no more like normal petrol in the fuel lines and the injectors and everything else. Uh, and that'll of course let us know that we can safely flash the E85 tune. So we'll go ahead, we'll ride around a little bit until we see that happen. So right now we're just kind of riding around aimlessly waiting to see the ST fuel trim and LT fuel trim begin to rise, which it looks like they're slowly starting to do when we started the LT was around 1.56 and the uh, ST fuel trim was in the negatives which looks like that's starting to rise a little bit as well so currently the uh, LT fuel trim is hitting like 14% and we're seeing the ST fuel trim a little higher than it was previously we're almost to the E85 station where we're going to fill up the rest of the car uh, so we should be right around the distance for it to kind of switch over to E85 from the uh, petrol that was in the lines and everything all right so we're at the gas station so before I fill up, because um, we only had about a half tank, uh, we're going to go ahead and flash the E85 tune. Um, so with the open flash tablet, you don't really get a tune file for like stage one or anything like that. You have to go with the stage two plus, uh, which is typically for an unequal length header, uh, but it is recommended no matter your header that you will go with that stage two plus. So here I have the latest update uh, 4.01. So we'll go ahead get the car flashed and then we'll get it filled up. So we are almost done with the tune. It took maybe about five minutes like normal. Uh, so now we'll go and key off, confirm that, and then it'll tell us to key on. And then once you have the tune done, uh, you actually want to ride around briefly uh, for about they say maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, so then you want to do like three to six grand pulls. Uh, that way the uh, ECU can relearn uh, the curve and everything for the fuel. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll fill up and then we'll let it idle for 45 seconds like it's telling us. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and ride around a little more. This thing is fucked. So we got the first time with the 85 going in. So we got it filled up now. We'll go ahead and ride around a little bit and then let that uh, fuel curve learn itself and we should be good to go. And hopefully it won't explode. <laughs> so we're gonna to wanna to let it idle since we just reflashed it. So we'll sit here for about a minute and then we'll go ahead and take off. So we wanna ride around until we see the uh, ST and LT uh, both hit around 10%. And then we should be good to start trying to do the little small pulls uh, a few times. And then we should be kind of broken in and set up if you will. So the ST fuel trim and the LT fuel trim have uh, started averaging higher than usual, uh, so we should be good. So we've been doing the uh, the small pulls from uh, three grand to six grand as we ride through the uh, sit beautiful city of Detroit. So basically, you just want to slowly go up from three to six, or roughly uh, a few quick times, just for it to really be able to relearn. Uh, so it looks like it's running safely so far. The AFRs have been completely fine. Um, I haven't heard any weird noises, pops, bangs, grinds. So we'll cruise around a little longer and then we'll get some actual like uh, start stop pulls in and see how much the 85 really is an improvement over the uh, petrol tune. So we've been riding around after getting the uh, flash done and the fuel put in that everything's learned so we'll go ahead and we'll send it a little bit and see how it uh how it feels oh dude 
is noticeably quicker. Definitely noticeably quicker. That's what's up. So I'd highly recommend that E85 tune if you can get a hold of it. For fairly simple to fairly simple to set up, doesn't take too long. It's just kind of annoying. You do have to drive around quite a bit for the uh, ST and LT fuel trims to get where they should be, which is roughly around uh, I would say 4% or so for the LT, and then you'll see your ST be a little higher than it was previously. Um, when you're kind of on load and it'll be right about where it was previously so yeah not a hard process at all a 40 40 roll there's 50 60 70 As always, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching, and if you'd like to, please subscribe for more mediocre content, and uh, take care.